All right, so you're probably looking at this video for one of two reasons. Either you tried to e-file a tax return and it got rejected because it says that you didn't enter in the identity protection pin for the IRS, or you got one of these letters here and you need to know how to get this into TurboTax. All right, so once you're in TurboTax, you're gonna go here to federal, hit other tax situations, scroll down and hit other return info. Identity protection pin, hit that start button or revisit for my case here and we're gonna say, yeah, someone did get one of these pins here. You're gonna click add the pin. You're gonna take a look at the notice that you got and there's gonna be this six digit pin right there, okay? Now, this is gonna be different every year, right? So you're gonna to need to take a look at the notice. What is this pin issued for what year, okay? So if you got one last year, you can't use that one for this year again. You'll get a new notice for that. Now, if you don't have this letter and it got rejected, you can go on the IRS's website here, right? You can just click on that, what if I lost it? And you scroll on down and you click on this button, ID pin, and look at that, IRS has got <clears throat> a tool here that you can log in and get that pin. Now, of course, you're gonna have to have an account with the IRS, and if you don't, take some time to get that set up, but nonetheless, you can get that there. If you can't figure that out, unfortunately, you're gonna have to give this phone number here a call. All right, so that's it. You just put in, put in the number here, and hit continue. And that's it, simple as that, done.